Hey everybody, Fishman here, welcome to another video. This is Fish Room Vlog number 36, or I could probably have called it uh, Plant Room Vlog number 36 because there are going to be a fair number of updates on plants today. To start off with, these are the planters I put together a couple of days ago. I, I know it's kind of a bit of an early update for these, but this spider plant here, um, because I suspect it had a well-developed root system already and then of course had the added stimulus of having the soil in it, is already sending out a new leaf, which is kind of cool. But I do have the third one of these to fill, and that reminded me that I had bought, about three months ago now, uh, before our last lockdown, this plant here. This is a succulent. I don't remember the name of it. Uh, but I had meant it as a part of the centerpiece for the Paludarium. It was to go in the top of that piece I had made, and whenever I buy something, I like to put it in the fish room for a little while, not so much quarantined in this case, but I want to see how well you know it did with the environment and my water regime and make sure that it was going to live and do well before I stuck it into that. And then, of course, as time went by, I forgot all about it. And with all the planting I've been doing this week, it reminded me that uh, I should get around to that. So that's going to come up here shortly as well. Now, these two tanks were part of the plant growth substrate experiment. And if you remember, the one on the left was the gravel one. And I had moved, as you can see on the left, uh, the soil container out of the one on the right into that tank and, and now you can see that it is leaching tannic acids quite nicely and hopefully other nutrients as well and I'm hoping that the Vallisneria here in this tank uh, will take off uh, hopefully in the next month or two and we'll see it uh, rival the one on the right but I'm going to keep these two in the regime of you know the waters and water changes and all that sort of stuff and hopefully uh, we'll see that balance out a bit more. This is the five stage airlift I had made quite some time ago now and as you can tell I have not done anything to it. I was just curious when I built it how long it could work uh, without any maintenance or anything and as you can see I, what I have done is I cleaned the front plate a little bit so you can actually see into it. The moss in here is growing really well and I thought it was kind of you know <laughs> consistent with everything else I've been talking about today so I thought I'd include a clip of this. I actually really like this filter not for anything other than the fact that it's just kind of a neat oddity. I mean it does filter this tank really nicely but again it's not what I would call a practical filter. It was just kind of a cool thing and I'm kind of glad that it is still uh, bubbling and churning away. I suspect sometime in the next few months I am going to have to clean the pipes a little bit uh, just so that the f water flows a bit better. But other than that, I mean, it's perfectly fine. But another reason why I was thinking about this is because of this here. This is the uh, failed rainforest build I had put together. And as you can see, two of the chambers have been removed. And the reason for that is I wanted to get into a little bit more aquaponics. And this tank is actually perfect for it because of all the extra space that's above uh, the water and uh, has actually really good lighting as well. But I don't really want to start from scratch on these. I do want to recycle as much of the rainforest part as possible. And the best part of it would be uh, these two tables. So they're a great shape and size. They hold uh, whatever I'm going to put just slightly above the water. And if I go with a roughly a four inch wide uh, system like these trays here, I can get three on each of them. I'm not going to start off with uh, making three of them. I'm going to start off making one. I've learned my lessons from the rainforest build. I don't really want to uh, put too much in the way of materials into this uh, to start off with. So I'm going to build one tray. I'm going to put one or two planters in it. I'm going to run some water through it and see how well uh, they grow. And then I'm going to go from there. And I have watched a few videos about it. And I have come up with, uh, well, my own version of some of them. But that's probably going to be for, like I said, Wednesday's video, and uh, we'll get into more detail on that at that point. So this is the succulent, and I was actually kind of surprised at this, because I had actually thought when I pulled this apart that it would be a little bit different inside than it was. Uh, but I do remember a little bit about succulents uh, from years ago, and they don't really develop a whole lot of roots. Uh, and that's what I found out here once I started trying to pull this apart. I was expecting it to have a little bit more of a root ball and I was going to have a little bit more of a struggle trying to get it uh, separated. And then it just started crumbling and then I was left with a very tiny little bit here in the very end. Here we go. 
And that is all there is for this whole plant. And I thought, wow, that's kind of tiny. And then I realized as I started separating this, this isn't a plant. Uh, this is five plants. And all they are is just stems. And they just came apart very easily, as you can see here. Especially the one on the left. It's just, like I said, these are just individual stems. And uh, they were just stuck in a pot. And they managed to grow to look like a plant. But that's all there is to this. So I'm going to stick this one here in the, one of the three planters. The last planter that I put together. And then I am going to trim the last one and rearrange it just a little bit and I'm going to put that as uh, the top part the centerpiece for uh, the Paludarium build so one other thing I want to talk about is I got a, a couple of comments uh, that really interest me uh, and I want to get more into this as we go along uh, has some suggestions on very simple ways of doing uh, not so much planters for our aquariums but Ways of holding plants, uh, not like not above the aquarium or anything, but just sort of on the edge like these here, but much more simple with either wire racks and or other things. So there's a couple things I want to try with that as well, and that's going to be coming up shortly too. One of the simple things you're going to see in the front end of this here, I, I put together very quickly, but I want to show it to you as well. So this is the succulent, and hopefully that will grow and do well. I actually expect it to do just fine, because it has been so far in their fish room. But I took a small acrylic tube, and I stuffed a, a bit of foam in the bottom of it, and a little bit of wire just to hold it in place. And these are the leaves I trimmed off when I was making the centerpiece. And all it is is just the end of the leaves. Now these should grow, but I'm not entirely sure. But I'm going to put them here and see if they develop their own roots and see what comes of that as well. But that's kind of a really, really simple uh, version of a planter that I plan on trying to do slightly more elaborately coming up. Because there are interesting ways, I think, that one can use these things more as filtration. These aren't for filtration. These are, again, just to see if some of that soil will help the uh, aquarium plants grow. But there's some other stuff I want to work on as well. So here I finally managed to cap the centerpiece, and I actually like the way it looks. It's a nice plant, and there's a clip coming up shortly of how the moss is starting to cling to the terracotta. I'm doing a bit of a water change and drain the water down a little bit. And actually, I think it looks really kind of nice, and I think it will start uh, to look even nicer as time goes by. As you can see, I have been procrastinating hugely on getting the plants attached to all the wood. Initially, it started off because I wanted to see how uh, how the wood is going to last with all the water and see if it's going to rot or, you know, um, start falling apart or anything. And then, it, again, other projects came up and I just uh, never got back to it. But I have started again getting to that and I'm uh, going to catch up to hopefully getting uh, this more planted now. And there you go. See, this is I've been drained down now. And you can see how uh, the java moss is starting to climb up and root right onto the terracotta. And I'm hoping that in time it is going to just pretty much encase that entirely. And the java fern is also doing really quite well. So I'm actually really happy with this. And I suspect in a few more months, uh, this is going to start looking really quite interesting. So uh, there will be uh, more updates on this as time goes by. And we'll see how that all goes. So we're pretty much getting to the end of this video now, and there's going to be a change, because I usually ended up the Sunday vlogs with an update for the three tanks and the plant growth substrate experiment, uh, but that's no longer the case, because that's pretty much run to a conclusion. So from now on, uh, at least until these guys get bigger, I am going to end off the Sunday vlogs with uh, a visual for the growth of these angel fry. So as always, if you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe and leave comments. Let me know what you think uh, and any further experiments because I'm getting some really interesting ideas from uh, what you guys have uh, given me as input so far on uh, the things that are going on in the fish room. And that's great. I mean, that just uh, makes for more fun for me and definitely more interactive. So uh, definitely keep that up, please. I'm really enjoying that. So these fry are doing well. I mean, <laughs> again, you just had an update on these, so uh, it's uh, not novel at this moment. But uh, it's going to be in uh, the Friday, uh, sorry, the Sunday vlogs from now on at the end. 
and we'll get a you know a week by week growth on these and as i said they're doing really well i'm very happy with this and sometime i think probably in the next week or two i am going to separate out uh, mom and dad and have these guys grow out on their own and we'll see how that works so hopefully i won't end up with too many more uh, batches of eggs because Honestly, I have no idea what I'm going to do with these if I start getting hundreds of them. I mean, this batch alone is probably enough for me uh, for quite some time to come. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video, and bye for now.